Bill and I met aboard Ultra. We met in 1996. I was doing a lot of charity work, and part of the charity work was um, to get together something, and so I decided it would be part of it would be boats. So that's how we got into it, and then just everywhere we've been with Ultra, we just continue to do projects. But we never try to change their culture. We always try to respect um, the way they cook, the way they live, the way they raise their children, the way they do everything that they do. You know, uh, they, we ask them how we can help them because we see what they need, but we also ask them what they need. So we always try to help them just what they wish to have. We have a lot of fun with this and uh, we learn a lot too about them by spending hours and lots of hours talking to them, visiting with them and everything. Okay, so here we are in this beautiful home here with our friends and they recently had a big flood here in Rio Little Say. They had two feet of water in this home inside the house. So all of this, everything that you see either had water on it or it was up in the rafters. We helped them by building new beds for them, we gave them dry clothing, gave them food, and gave them fresh water. We do water filter systems. We help with the water pumps to build those, to bring water to the place if there's a well or some other source. And then we also do solar um, power projects. So a lot of people donate the solar panels to us, as well as old batteries. We do painting, we do trash cleanups playgrounds, we teach in schools, we build bathrooms in schools. The food is a main thing too, is we have our ultra community food bags that we distribute out. Everybody helps. We must say that we can't do any of this without everybody helping. This is uh, Sophia. Sophia lives here. She's one of the three daughters and so she helps a lot. For example, she measured every one of these holes that are three inches apart. She measured them from here to here. We drew a line and then she drilled every hole and she threaded this entire bit. We don't speak uh, Spanish or Quechi, but she and I communicate. She's a darling, she's great. In the end, I think we think of ourselves, to use a word, like ambassadors, I guess to represent the cruisers, to represent uh, people from Texas, to represent Americans, to represent the world, to represent whatever you want to say it is, people, and just to go into communities and just share yourself, give your time, have fun with everybody, and um, let them know that you're here to have fun, you have that magical moment of being together, because it can happen anywhere around the globe, so um, it could be through art, it could be through teaching, it could be through um, giving it, even something as simple as drawing with children, just having simple things like that and sharing, you know, cookies with them and a piñata with them and music with them and asking them to dance and sing and have fun with us. The way that you help them to empower themselves, help themselves and also, um, you know, move forward and stay friends forever like this and so we still stay friends with all these people that we've helped and they all, um, are appreciative, but we're appreciative that we were part of uh, the magic. So I think our main uh, focus is always just to help out, spread joy, do what we can, and along with our volunteers, our team, everybody donating from around the globe helps a lot. And so this is what we think is um, the most important thing, is that everybody plays their part, that wants to play their part. And there's a specific project that you want to help on, then you can also um, contact us about that and your money will go towards that particular project. And if there's something that you know of that we could also be helping on, um, please let us know.